One. Just keep marching. Move your arm. Two, three, four. 
feet. We're going to do this. If you don't stop moving, remember it's a cardio workout. If you don't stop moving, four, three, two, one. Quickly stretch your bonuses. Take a support or without support. One, two, three, four, five. Change it. One, two, three, four, five. Change it. Legs wide. Go as wide as you can. Slide down. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Feel the stretch. Keep marching. Okay. Take a break. All right. Do you see that? About five to seven minutes of warming up. We're feeling a little charged up now. Yeah. And see the difference. Your heart rate has slightly increased. And now we're going to pump it up. Yeah. So today we're going to incorporate boxing movements, punching, kicking, boxing. So we keep going. I will be taking you through each movement first. We repeat that on the right, then we repeat it on the left, then we combine it. And then we keep adding up. Okay? That's how the choreography will go. Those of you who you uh, those of you who sorry who want to drink water, quickly sip some water and then get back. Okay, I'm gonna come back in two minutes. All right, so let's. Get going. I'm gonna keep some stuff over here. Okay, are you ready with the music? Yeah, keep marching. Keep marching. All right, keep marching. Come on, let's start. Transferring your body weight from the left to the right and the body weight will be on your on the ball of your feet You're going on the ball of your feet. Okay, not on the heels. So heels don't touch the floor one two three let's do ten four five six seven eight nine ten 
Got it? So whenever I'm talking to you all, just keep marching, just keep marching. In between, keep marching. So you got the movement, the jab. Hands will be like this. Knees will always be soft. One leg remains forward. So you have one, two, three. Okay? So let's get going once again. Okay. So we're going to do 20 counts of jab with the right. One, two, breathe out. Three, make sure your hand is going in the same line as your shoulder. You're not standing and doing it like this, but shoulder in line with the shoulder and in the same line, not cross. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, keep going, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good one, change the side, change the side, come on, start, with the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, knee sock, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so you got that. So we have done a jab on the right, we've done a jab on the left. Got the jab, so 20 jabs on the right, 20 on the left. You saw the foot movement, whichever side you're punching, that foot is pointing, the toe is pointing forward and you're just pointing, punching forward. All right, so now let's go to a, another exercise, another movement called as a cross. So you keep your hands like this, feet, toes pointing straight, knees soft, don't keep it too wide. Your legs don't go wider than your shoulders. Keep your knees soft, core engaged. So you go cross, cross. Again, you're not going to go stretching or bending forward. Just go as much as you can. You should feel a slight stretch and without jerking your elbow. So it's a cross. One, two, breathe out. Three, four. Always keep your hands slightly lower than your shoulder. Five, six, breathe out. Seven, breathe out. Eight. Breathe out, nine, ten, come on, one, two, and you can raise your heel, you can raise your heel when you're punching, raise your heel when you're punching, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it once again. Go. Three, two, one, start. One, two, one, two, one, two. See, I'm not going too far. One, two, one, two. Keep your knees soft and without a jerk. Cross, 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 cross. Knees soft. And you can raise your heel. It's cardio. You're not really punching. You're not really doing a martial art class. Do it softly. Knees soft, four, punch, if you want you can start the foot movement also, otherwise just go, knees soft, no pressure on the heels, very good, 30 seconds more, feel it in the core, you'll feel it here, yeah your core is engaged, four, 10 seconds, very good. Knee soft. You see my knees? I'm transferring the body weight. Four, three, two, one. March. Keep marching slowly. Listen to what I'm saying. So when you do this, make sure your core is engaged all the time. You don't keep your core light loose. At the same time, elbows should be slightly lower than your shoulder. Yeah, we're not raising the elbow, we're not punching too high. And 
Do not lock your elbows. Avoid locking. Keep it soft. Lift on two. Jab. And the second one was cross. Now watch. Now we do something called a hook. Okay, so for the hook, you put your left foot forward, hands like this, with your right hand. Okay, so the right hand comes here and you're forming a hook. Hook. So it's like forming a hook. Elbow in line with your shoulder. And come down. Come down with me, follow me. One and down. Two and down. Three and down. Four and down. The hind knee is soft. You re raise your heel. Raise your heel. So one and down. Two down. Three down. Come on. Four down. Five. Six. Seven again. You're not punching up. You're just punching in line with your shoulder. It's like this and without a jerk. Two more. One more. Change the side. The other foot forward. Keep your knees soft and both the knees are soft. You watch my knees. Elbow soft. Up. Back. Up. Back. Just watch. Up. Back. Up and back. Up and back. Punch. Back. Punch. Back. Come on. One. Now with the counts. Two. You cover up. Three. You cover up. Four. You cover up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. You see, you're not going to stretch too much. Otherwise, you're going to pull in your back. Nine. Ten. It's a hook. You're forming a hook. Nine. Eight. Seven. See the full movement of my arm. One. One. Six more. And back. Punch and back. Punch and back. Punch and back. Punch. Back. Three more. Two more. One more. Easy. March. Lift on three. Jab. Cross. Hook. Now, this one is called an uppercut. So you gotta take a follow through from behind and punch up. So as if you're punching someone below the chin, how would you go? You'll go up and you'll go up and your knees will go soft. Up. Swing it up. Swing it up. Swing it up. Come on. One. Two. Three. A very good workout for the back. Four. Five. Six. Not too high. Seven. Stop at your chin level. At the level of your chin. Eight. Nine. Ten. Change the side. Knee soft. You take it from here behind and then go up. Swing up. One. Two. Three. Breathe out. Four. Breathe out. Five. Breathe out. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. You got it? You've been done four movements. One is a jab. The other is a cross. Third one is a hook. And fourth one is the uppercut. Let's do all once again. Ten, ten each. You do right, left, right, left, right, left. So start with the jab. And let's try going slightly with the rhythm. So for the jab, keep your right foot forward. Just keep moving back and forth. See that? Knees soft. Hands closed. I'm starting with the right. Four, three, two, one, two, three. Jab is a straight one. You don't go cross. Four, 
three, two, one, change. First, just move back and forth. Start with jab. I'll tell you. Four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the movements are very soft. Okay, good job with the foot. Keep your feet wide up, knees soft. Okay, these exercises, the reason why I have mentioned to wear shoes is because it gives you cushioning. As you see, we keep moving on the toes, we keep moving on our feet, so we need some cushioning. Okay, if you are using a mat, it's better you double up the mat, so you get more cushioning. And you are not wearing shoes and a mat, double up the mat. So you get some cushioning. Just watch. Legs wide, slightly wider, knee soft. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Knee soft. Just like you do squat. Four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, stretch, one, two, cross, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, march. Get ready for the hook. We're going to do it with both the sides. Left to right. Once again, legs a little wide, toes pointing out. Keep your knees soft. Push your hips back. Hands closer. One, and back. Two, back. Three, back, four. See my shoulders, my neck. Very easy, very neutral. I'm not straining it, I'm not pushing myself. It's just easy. One and down. Two. Come on. Very good. Knees soft. Nice and soft. Come on. So your elbow is moving. Elbow moves in line with the shoulder. All the way back. Stretch out. Four. Three. Two. One. Four. Three. Two. One, four, three, two, swing your arms. One, four, three, two, one. Good. Four, three, two, one. Once again, four, three, two, one. So you're keeping your arms really free. Let me do this. Yeah, you see that? Good. Keep marching. And now we're doing the uppercuts. But we do it one side at a time. So you keep your left foot forward, we're starting with the right. Four, three, two, start. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see, not too high, not too far. Breathe out. Keep your knees soft. And the hind leg, I'm raising my heel. Change the side. This heel is off the floor. Four, three, two, start. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy. Keep marching. Great. So you've got the basics now. We've done four. We've done a jab. We've done a cross. Hook. 
and uppercut. Now, how about combining these four? Sounds a little tricky. So first we are going to combine two. Jab and the cross. Alright. Club them together. We do the jab cross together. And then we do the hook and uppercut. Before that, I am going to give you a one minute break. Drink a sip of water quickly. Get a, get a sip of water. Get a towel or a napkin or something. To wipe your sweat. Because I am sure today you will be sweating. And make sure your room is ventilated. The fan or the AC, if you are using the air conditioner, keep it at a 24 25 degrees, a regular room temperature, or a little higher. So, you need some breathing, you need some ventilation. Yeah? Good. How are you going so far? Hi, Manali. Priya. Hi, Priya. We got some. A lot of people joining us today. Okay, are we ready? Ready with the water? First, jab to the right, cross with the left, jab to the right, cross with the left, jab, cross, jab, cross. You see the difference? Jab is in the same line as your right hand, cross goes left to right. Okay, so let's start. Y'all, maybe y'all will be able to see me the opposite side. So when I'm using the right, it might seem like my left. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one. Start. Jab, cross. 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 Change. Left foot forward. Left jab, right cross. Jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Right again. Keep moving back and forth, knees soft, abs engaged. Four, three, two, one, start. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, one. Two, one, 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 two. Got it? Keep marching. How many of you got confused? It's all right. Okay, just go at your pace. I may go a little faster. You can go a little slower. It's absolutely fine. Go at your pace, at your rhythm. Cross, jab. Cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, and two. One, two, 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 one, two. So that was a jab and cross combined. Now we do the hook and uppercut, same way. Keep your feet wide this time. So standing with your toes pointing out, slightly outwards. Knees are a little strong. Hook, up, hook, up, hook, up, hook, up. Come on, one, up, one, up, one, up, one, up. So it's a hook and you go up. Hook, up, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 
two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hook up, hook up, hook up. Change the side. Hook with the left, up with the right. Hook up, hook up, hook up, hook up, hook up, hook up. Come on. One, two, one, two. You see my arms are free. One, two, one, two. Raising my heel. Two, one, 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 two. Okay. So we've got two and two together, right? Jab cross together, hook uppercut together. So let's club them together. Four movements. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Let's do it slowly. We're starting with the right. Yeah. So you can keep your right foot forward slightly so the feet are slightly diagonal. They're never in the same line, they're always diagonal. So you're able to move, you're able to move your body weight and you're keeping your heels very soft so you don't really touch your heel to the floor, you're only always on the ball of your feet, yeah, so keep moving up and down and let's start, we're going to start with the jab, so for the jab, you're going to do jab, cross, you see the heel, up, cross, hook, and up. Let's go once again. Jab, cross, hook, up. Jab, cross, hook, up. Listen to the instructions, go with the beats, and go with the movement. It's a jab, cross, hook, and up. Hook in line with your shoulder. Jab, cross, hook, up, come on, one, two, hook, up, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, up, 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 jab, cross, hook, up two more, jab, cross, hook, up, jab, cross, hook, up, jab, cross, hook, up, one, one, two, three, four, jab, cross, hook, up, jab, cross, hook, up, jab, cross, hook, up, okay, change the side, keep on changing, change the side, Jab, come on, let's start. Knee soft. Jab, cross, hook, up. Jab, cross, hook, up. Come on. Jab, cross, hook, up. Breathe up. Cross, hook, up. Jab, cross, hook, up. Jab, cross, hook, up. Jab, cross, hook. Up, one, cross, hook, up, jab, cross, hook, up, jab, cross, hook, up, jab, cross, hook, up, jab, cross, hook, up, two more, jab, cross, hook, up. Good boy. Super. So that was a combination of jab, cross, hook, up. Four different movements combined into one choreography. You can keep doing this on your own. Do it for 30 seconds on each side, 15 seconds on each side, change the side, however you feel. If you feel tired on one side, if you feel any pressure on the joints, change the side. Keep changing the sides. It's absolutely fine. Now, keep marching. So you work the upper body, you can feel it in the upper body, you can feel your arms a little burning, sensation in your arms, shoulders, back, to borrow your back, this might get a bit sore, okay? It's absolutely fine, it's because of punching. 
You might also realize that you have some muscles which you have never noticed. Keep marching. Now watch. Put your left foot forward. Up, down. Up, down. Just touch your floor, to the floor. All your body weight on the right. Right knee soft. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, and down. One, two, three. Right knee soft. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. You see the weight bearing leg. The left leg in my case is soft. All your body weight comes on the hind leg. Your floor is engaged. One. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Keep marching. the body weight. All right. Keep marching. Right foot forward. Kick. Down. Kick. Down. Watch. Kick. Down. Knee soft. Kick. Down. Kick. Knee remains in line with your hip. Not higher than that. Fine. One, kick, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Retain the leg. The weight bearing leg, the right leg in this case. Toe pointing out, knee a little soft. All your body weight will come here. Keep your core engaged to balance yourself. You just touch your toe up. Kick, up. One, up, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. We're gonna go faster after two. Four, three, two, one. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. March. You may feel a slight tightness or burning sensation in the hip joint. It's fine. It's because of keep putting the weight, transferring the weight. And the kicks. So you've done the front kick now. Kick. Kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Okay. Now, if you notice any aerobic workout or these kind of workouts are not just working your cardiovascular system, but they're also working your brain, the neuro pathways, you remember I spoke about neuro pathways, the brain giving signal to your body to move different parts of the body. Now if you notice we are doing opposite sides. So it's a task for the brain. Okay? Lifting your right hand, lifting your left leg together, right left, alternate. So let's do some more brain work. When you punch, punch with the opposite leg. Opposite hand. Opposite hand. Opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that. Left hand, right leg, right hand, left leg. So start with the left hand, right leg. One. Just continue with that right now. Let's do five. Left hand, right leg. One, two, three, four, five. We are doing a cross, okay? It's a cross. Let's do right hand, left leg. One, two, three, four, five. 
get that? Opposite legs, opposite hand. Now start together. Three, two, one. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Punch, 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 punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Today, even the stretches, you got to do with the music and in the movement. So loosen up. Just loosen up your legs, raise your heel. Loosen up your arms. Shoulders back and down. Keep your hands, shoulders straight. Neck neutral. Now watch. Legs together. Calf. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Just hold the stretch. Hold the stretch. Five seconds. Hold it. Chain. Five seconds. Hold it. Four. Three. Two. Knees straight, okay. Knees long, back straight, pulse. Avoid rounding your back, back remains straight. Push your hips back, push your hips back. Feel it over here. Four, three, two, one. Keep going and now hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up. Balance. Hold it. If you can't balance, take a support. It's absolutely fine. One, two. Lift a little higher. Knee pose a little higher. Hold it. Change the side. Let's change the side. If you have been doing these exercises regularly with me, you will notice that at the end of 21 days, you will have a greater sense of balance, improved core strength, definitely improved cardiovascular fitness and strength, muscular strength and endurance, flexibility, and also you must have lost a lot of weight. Okay. Some of my clients, some of the people who have been doing the workouts have been losing weight ongoingly, losing the fat ongoingly. So it definitely works. Consistency is the key. Now let's move to stretching the lower back. So it's also a movement stretch, moving stretch. So you go down, touch your toes, keep your knees bent. And very slowly curl your back up. Curl your spine. The head comes up in the end. Squatch. Curl. 
And finally the head. Let's do it. Two more times. Go down. Bend your knees. Touch your toes. Very slowly curl up. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just move your shoulders up and back and down, backwards and forward, and forward. Very nice. Shoulder. So how do you judge your flexibility of the shoulder? If you can keep your hand like this without turning your neck, without turning your body, like you're holding a phone. Shows the flexibility of your shoulder. Without turning your head, are you able to hold your palm next to your ear like you're holding a phone? Okay, now stretch your triceps, so palm facing behind your back, palm facing the behind portion. With the other hand, push the elbow down. Change the other side. Stretch your biceps, so palms facing down, push, change, and stretch your upper back, okay, you've really worked this part, okay, it's going to get sore, it's going to get real sore tomorrow, don't worry, it's just because you worked out these muscles which are not really worked very often. So most of you, okay, most of you may get sore and it's fine, there's nothing wrong. Your triceps, your biceps, your arms, your back muscles, even to a certain extent the abdominals, you will feel a soreness over here. It's not a pull, you're just going to get sore, so it's fine. You now stretch your abs, stretch the abdominal area. So interlock your fingers, interlock your fingers, palms facing up now, away from your body, just go up, stretch, don't go on your toes as of now, just stretch as if you are being pulled up by a rope, arch your back slightly, if you can, if you cannot just stretch, it's fine, okay, if you can arch your back, Great, if you cannot do it, it's fine. And now, stretch and bend to the side. Feel the stretch over here. The other side. Relax. Last stretch for the neck. You have really worked the neck muscle, by the way. The trapezius also. Just hold it. Change. Excellent. Palm face. Palms behind your back. Very gently push your head down. Okay, very gently. Feel it in your cervical. Very good stretch for the cervical. These three stretches, the last three stretches are very good for cervical people with a neck pain, people with a cervical pain. Do these stretches at home. You can do it three, four times a day, as many times as you can, especially if you are sitting for a long time. Do it. So that was our cardio blast workout, a continuous. We've done almost a 40 minute workout. Yeah, a non-stop 40 minute. You see the intensity was low, so you don't really feel it's so difficult, but you're still burning a lot of calories. Yeah, I can see in spite of the AC and the fan on, I'm sweating. So that shows Calorie burn has been high, the body temperature has gone up. Make sure that you are eating well, you are eating a lot of 
green leafy vegetables, you are eating enough uh, fibers and as I said in my video, eat simple home cooked meals, not too heavy meals. Secondly, just take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, calm down, focus on your breathing. Breathing makes a big difference. We have learned the deep breathing exercise on Sunday. Yes, I would invite you to practice that every day. The deep breathing exercise, it keeps your stress levels, your anxiety levels in control. So deep breathing will really help. At the same time, just relax. Take enough rest. Rest and recovery is very, very important. During this time, you're working out, so your body requires rest. Okay, and I have a channel on YouTube, it's called Vishwajit Matkar, as my name, Vishwajit Matkar. You can subscribe to that channel, you can follow that channel. So if you subscribe to the channel, you will get to know whenever I come up with new informative videos on wellness, do follow that. And also, we have started with our online coaching structure. The online coaching is for life coaching, for wellness coaching. So it involves everything your psychological aspect, your physical aspect, that's the exercise and the food, that's the nutritional aspect. So we are taking care of all three aspects and make sure that you are being provided with a holistic approach to wellness. Okay, that's what we at Recharge Mind, Body, Spirit believe in, that's what I believe in, that's what my wife who is a clinical dietitian, eat, she believes in. We follow, believe in following simple processes, not making things too complicated, whether it's a diet, whether it's an exercise, keep it simple, yeah, keep it simple is the motto. So have a great day, take care, rest well, eat well and don't go out, okay, got that, don't go out of your house and don't let, it, let anyone else go out, take care.